In this tutorial, I'll show you how to bend a mesh that had an array modifier added. As we can see, we can create very interesting shapes after bending a mesh that was created with an array modifier. I'll show you how the mesh can be created from scratch. I'll add a cube, and type, G, X, and, 1, to move it one unit to the right. Let's move the origin to the 3D cursor. Type, S, and, X, to scale it on the, X, axis. I'll undo, scale the cube, and scale it on the, X, axis. In edit mode, control R to add a loop cut. Did you know we can press the F9 key to bring up this properties window shown at the bottom left corner? It's not working for me now, but please try it while using Blender. Whenever there's a window there, we can press F9. I'll add a simple deform modifier to bend the mesh 180 degrees. It should be on the Z axis, but this issue would occur. Please press Ctrl A to reset all transforms. Let's add an empty object and use that as an anchor for the mesh's array modifier like this. If we rotate the empty object, we can get an interesting result. This is how the mesh was created. After this, we can rotate the empty object, or the mesh itself to get even more interesting results. This is a great way to create great abstract art images that no one can figure out how they were made. I have used a simple bent mesh, but imagine what we could have if the base mesh was extremely sophisticated and subdivided. I would mix the mesh's random faces with emission and use Bloom with Eevee to create great looking abstract art renders. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.